Hello there. This is a 12 by 16 canvas that has obviously had some damage to it from hanging out in my studio. There were holes in the plastic. It doesn't really matter. We're going to do some experimenting today. I have four shovels. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do. It's pretty hot out here. I found a tricky way to keep cool. I'll tell you about it if you ask me. <laughs> Anyway, let's hope it works for a while longer than this. I'm going to throw some white paint on there just to keep us with a nice wet base. This is also an experiment because I usually put some Artist Loft white in with my Walmart semi-gloss. But I haven't been to the store and remembered to pick it up or I didn't have the coupon at the time or whatever. And so I'm just going to use what I've got. I did put GAC 800 in it because I don't want it to crack if it's heavy. And it was an expensive fix, but I intend on adding the Artist Loft to it and then uh, and then adding more Floatrol. Because the Artist Loft has a lot, how do I say this, heavier, thicker, better coverage. It has, it's much more white. I am going to take that on my spatula and throw my spatula in the bucket and take that canvas away. And then I'm going to use my bead tray and put some colors in there. Keep the tech caps off. Just real pretty colors. Made up some nice blue. Metallic, actually. It'd be nice if I would check all my tips someday. I will. This is not that day. Oh, that's really thick. Well, it doesn't matter. Ooh, lost top. Okay. Anyway, back to the matter at hand which is just to keep adding. I think that's another metallic. Yep, I'm just gonna make pretty colors until I have enough colors to shovel some colors out. And if they happen to all be mostly purple, so be it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to throw something else in there. Some white, I think. And hope that that, that particular white isn't gonna be a problem. I always talk about this red being good because I like fuchsias. I don't think of red and purple as going together, but it seems more often than not, when I'm doing fluid art, they find a way to meld with each other pretty nicely. So I'm not unwilling to take the risk, and it may be a risk. I have got a nice turntable of colors over there. That, uh, that red is kind of dominating right now got some things I need to use up, come to think of it. And I'm going to try and do that right now. I made, oh yeah, that's cool. I made more paint than I could fit in my 16 ounce squeeze bottles, so this is what's going to happen to that. And I can't even use it all yet, but I might. Oh, that's pretty. And my friend, Jackie has suggested that I should take the tape out <laughs> of the end of my bead tray from my Michaels that I'm using as a uh, as a catch tray. What shall we call it? I don't know. Anyway, and just pour out of that. And that might be an interesting idea if I thought it wasn't going to muddy the colors. And I haven't decided if I'm going to do that quite yet. I like that. I have still got no, maybe. Yes. Okay, we're going to be freaky. I have all kinds of ideas on what to do with things. And um, there's like four different projects I could do. I like that purple over there in the corner, so I'm going to put it back in. It sort of stands in for black. I'm thinking that there's got to be one more color that I'd like in there, and maybe it's, uh, maybe it's orange. Lighter color orange. Yep, that's it. I like that. And I have a beautiful pink that I've been using, and I think I might be very close to being out of it, but until I am, let's do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that floats my boat. All right, so, other than a little black, I think that looks pretty good. I wanted some yellow in there. That's not too different than the orange. I think a few drops of yellow, just because. If it's going to be a rainbow, it might as well just be a rainbow, right? And that'll stand by in case I need it again. I'm going to try and remember to unclog my pretty pale purple metallic pretty quick here. All right, so 
think you may or may not be able to see that inside. I have a bucket that came with my the, at the dollar store. A dollar. <laughs> one bucket, one shovel, and there's my spatula, which I will wipe off with wet rags. I am not sure what I'm going to do, like I said, but we do have a wet white canvas, and we got shovels, and I'm going to use them. Oh, I didn't put the black in there. Okay, I'm still going to do that. Definitely going to do that. I kind of feel like sometimes just spreading some black around on my wet canvas, and um, yes, I'm still doing it. <laughs> Let's just do it. Do I have enough blue? I wonder. Oh, well. Let's not wonder too long. Let's just use a blue shovel. All right, so now, oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm just going to take, let's see how far I can spread this. Yes, I'm quiet. <laughs> well. Let's see if I can get it to go all the way to the edge. And since there's plenty on there, I'll let it pool a little bit at the edge so it'll fall right down. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, I'm loving this. This is fun. Yes, I am. This will not go at all. Okay, I'm going to go back to my bead tray and I'm going to see how hard it is to melt things. Let a little fall over the edge again. I don't mind having them be different, but I also know if I want, I can take my skewer. Oops, I'm dripping. Never mind. I'm dripping more. Must be the next place we're going to work. <laughs> Obviously. I'm going to continue to tip this a little bit. And shimmy it off. Yep. I'm just going to have some fun and I'm going to lean my my little shovel up against the edge of my tile so it doesn't spill out. So I've still got my paint color in there. I'm glad I put that yellow in there. I like it. Now, I have other ideas. <laughs> Among them, I'm not seeing as much blue in here as I want, so I'm going to throw some more in there and throw that right in the end of my shovel. And what am I going to do? I don't know yet. They're all going to be the same thickness. That's the only thing I can think of. I need different thickness shovels or dustpans or receptacles to make things work in different thicknesses. I'm going to either cross right over. Let's cross right over, shall we? I'm going to try and tip what's left in that shovel out, but in the meantime, I'm going to take my little spatula and push it. Now, I'd really like to experiment with Rain-X, and I've been talking about it and not doing it, and it seems kind of like this might be a fun time to try that, but I'm not ready yet. But I do have a big doll of paint, of paint right there, and I do want to see what happens to all of it when it starts to get busy with each other, itself, whatever. Now there's no silicone in any of this. Boy, I've been waiting to do this for a while. Ha! So I'm gonna grab a little more colors I like. And give myself something to fall down over the edge come back and do the other stuff I wanted to do, which is leave myself some stripes, if I dare. I dare a lot. <laughs> Chances are good. Okay, so I see that's not necessarily the shape I want, so I'm going to take my cleaner skewer without too much paint buildup on it. I'm going to do the same thing next to it, even if it does seem to have interrupted my cohesive stripe. It still looks like a highlight. That's cool. I'm good. I like this here. I'm not sure that white is 
going to stay, but it might. Um, yeah, I want a little something up over there. I want to experiment with what kind of shapes I can make with my shovel. And how far I can drag them out. And I like that, so I'm going to do it again next to it. And then from the opposite direction. I'll take that fish tail. Not a problem. Still want to see. So the little curve at the top of the shovel is going to drag paint along. But I really prefer not to make mud if I can help it. I'm just going to dip it straight in and draw it back and see what happens with that. I'm going to do that a bunch of times because I can. Yeah, that's cool. I'm good. I'm going to let that go right over the edge. I'm going to see if I can make some curves. And I sort of can. I think spiders have hatched. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> Please be wrong. I don't like the spiders. Really, really not my not my favorite thing. I don't I don't mind the job they do catching bugs, but <laughs> they don't seem to be doing a good enough job for me to forgive them from landing on me. Yeah, I'm not making a lot of coherent sense. I like that. And I wanted to oh yeah, cool. And I'm just gonna keep dipping in here go further away than I want it to be. Yes, I can make funky shapes. I have been waiting to make funky shapes for I don't know how long. Yep, I'm happy. I'm having a funky time. I'm just going to keep dipping in there. And maybe, just maybe, I'll take my dish of paint after this that's left, because I think there will be plenty left. And, uh, do something like throw a little blaster silicone spray in there, maybe one little spritz. I'm gonna see if I can't continue my my shovel marks down over my edge. I just um I don't really want to finish it. I don't want to go crazy. I may not be making flowers, but it feels like I'm making some kind of plant life, and I'm loving the colors that are coming out of that. That's just wonderful. I am having a ball. I recommend shovels. I put a bunch of shovels on my Amazon influencer page for shopping. Um, it might almost be worth investing a little money to have a bunch of different ones. Not that I'm using them, but I wanted my idea was to find a, a few different receptacles for paint, and um, so that way I don't have to clean the shovels off while I'm working in between. But that's not really necessarily important to you because you're not on a 20 minute timer like I am. And I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm gonna let those things overlap each other so we can start to look like we have a little bit of dimension. And I'm not minding those shapes in the least. Very cool. I guess must be sick of me being pleased with myself by now. Maybe not. <laughs> I hope not. Because I'm still so pleased with myself right now, I can't tell you. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to leave some negative space in here. We don't need to use every second of our time, but I could also do... The rain -X is still calling me. I like it. I like the spikiness of it. Um, I like that I left some places for my shovel to go that are almost a solid color. I am just having a ball. Just tapping. I'm not dragging, but I do have that white wet paint, which I do imagine is somewhat helpful. And I'm going to take that to the next level. Oh, I got some cells forming. And I'm going to take a chance and interrupt 
what's going on here. And cross over it with some spikes. Yep, I'm not unhappy with that yet at all. It's, it reminds, I don't know why, it reminds me of Bird of Paradise. Maybe because of the orange. And remember, I can also drag some of this stuff around if I want to. So, yep, there's some spirals. Cool. Oh, I guess I needed those. I have not really wasted very much paint. I don't know that I want to do anything specific with the paint. Oh, there's the thunder again. Oh, goody. <laughs> Well, we survived the others. Hopefully we'll survive these. It rained earlier and I'm standing in puddles. Um, I like that orange. This seems like there's a lot of it. I'm going to take my torch while we've got three minutes left and see what happens. And then if I want to do something different, I can. But this is fun. This is different. I really like how different this is. I especially like these little pockets of cells down at the bottom. Those are very cool. And I like the fact that I can take my tool, whatever it is, and, and go into, you know, my, my pan of color. Like if I want a little red to make that cohesive up there to continue on, or if I want to draw a line, or even make some other marks. Yep, that's not bothering me. I like it. I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm dipping and pulling. Dipping and pulling. I might not be much of a string puller, but um, I'm doing okay with the dipping and the pulling. There's no telling how much that'll stay because it's a white, wet background, but um, I didn't overdo it when it came to that. Yes, I'm liking my little flowers. They're very abstract. Very cool. This is de definitely destined to, uh, and I'm liking that I can pick up different colors. Oh, wow. I'm having a good time. Did I mention that? This just makes it much bigger. Let's grab some blue. Yes, I'm quiet. Oh, I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to do that until I run out of time. So, this will be a little bit changed when you come back. I'm not going to do another 20 minutes. And that's what I have to wait. The camera shuts off at 20 minutes. So I'm going to throw a few more flowers in here and I'm going to tell you that I have no income and we're about to lose a bunch of income and I'm enjoying painting for you guys and for myself, obviously. And I have a Patreon link and a PayPal donation button, both on my YouTube header. Um, all of my artwork is for sale. I'm not giving it away, but it's for sale. And I'm happy to have it go to a good home. So if you feel like helping me out, you're going to enjoy what you get. <laughs> or at least I hope you will. In the meantime, I'm going to say I'm not going to rain X because there's already plenty of interesting stuff going on here. And we could do the same thing again. That timer is going to go off very soon and you're going to hear it. So I'm skewering. I didn't use my tubing, but I have my tubing. We have 44 seconds left, so I'm going to try it. Cool. That's the only way that blue is ever going to get exposed. Beautiful. Aha. Happy I did that. Wicked happy I did all of this. Wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Can you tell I'm happy? <laughs> Well, I don't know if you can see that as well as I can from the direction I'm working on it from, but I love the flow of that. That's just, I feel like I was actually painting a real painting, even though it was with accidentally scooped or shoveled or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. So that's us saying goodbye for now. Priscilla out. I will see you in the next video. And it may not be very long from now. So, wow. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for inspiring me. If you're still here, kudos. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs>